This week we prayed for good stewardships, stewardship over the things that God has entrusted to us individually and corporately. You know, God is the owner and we are His stewards. And there are three valuable things that God has entrusted to us, uh, and that is namely time, talent, and treasures. And we will just talk about time today. We all have been given the same amount of time, 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, 30 days in a month, and not a second more or a second less. Regardless whether we are rich or we are poor, we are strong or we are weak, all of us have been given you know, 24 hours a day. So how are you doing with your time during this MCO? Have you used it to your advantage? Are you managing your time? You know, as stewards, uh, we are called into accountability to ourselves and to God on the use of the time. The truth is that none of us is perfect in the management of time. And none of us have really complete control over it. You know, we have our highest moments and we also have our low moments with use of time. What is done is done and it can't be undone. But what we do next with our time is most important because uh, we are still in charge of whatever happens to our time. We can't manage uh, time per se, it just passes on, but we can manage the time uh, that has been given to us. You know, there's a song and there's a scripture in Lamentations 3, 22 uh, to 23. It says, The steadfast love of the Lord never ceases. His mercies never come to an end. They are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness. You know, God's mercy are new every morning. A new morning, a new breath of fresh air that comes, a new day. And in that sense, we all have been given a clean sheet to write on, on a new day. What we want to see happen or accomplish for the day, what we want to do with it, your time and what you do, will shape the course of your success and your destiny each day at a time. Do you ever feel that your time could be better spent? I believe uh, if we are honest, uh, we would say a, a, a yes. So I hear, uh, I have two practical thoughts. Uh, the first is that, you know, set goals and prioritize. You know, have a list, a to-do list. Write it down, you know, unclutter what is in our minds. Uh, what you can see, you can do. You can work towards that goal. How best you spend your time is to make the decision up front. So when I decided to read the entire Bible in a year, I set up with a plan to read the 66 book. I would read each book and each or each epistle at a time. And I would read and also follow the audio Bible chapter by chapter. Other times, I would watch the Bible uh, project animation on each of the books of the Old Testament and the New Testament. Uh, these videos uh, also helped me with an overall perspective. Going it through uh, with the time and has enriched me in the Word of God and offers me hope and lesson learned in the midst of these turbulent times. And it's also a way of me dedicating my time unto the Lord in, in Word, in worship and in, in prayer. Secondly, have fun with your time. You know, this uh, during this MCO, Janlin introduced us a game uh, on the eve of the uh, our third lockdown. And uh, we had a clay modeling competition. And so all of us was given a lump of clay. And uh, we were asked to make something for a member of the family. And we had so much uh, fun making things uh, at that moment in time. And it was really bringing out the creativity and our thoughts for one another. And most of all, it was building sweet memories together uh, with the time that we have. So have fun. So start with one thing at a time, set goals, make the most of the time that you have and enjoy it. Blessings.